The Bible says when you engage in sexual immorality, the first time you do it leads to the second time, the second time leads to the third time, and before you know it, you're enslaved. Proverbs 5 verse 22, Solomon says, his own iniquities will capture the wicked and he will be held with the cords of his own sin. A lot of times I illustrate that verse with a piece of string and I wrap it around my hand one time and I say, you know, you wrap this piece of string around your hand one time, you can easily break through it. It's a flimsy piece of string. But you wrap that cord around your hand three or four times, no matter what you try, you can't break free from it. It's the same way of sin. Sin is a cord that will hold you captive and in slavery. There are some of you right now who are engaged in pornography. You're engaged in premarital sex. You're engaged in an adulterous relationship, and you say, well, I can stop anytime I want. Really? Then why aren't you stopping now? The fact is, sin never leads to freedom. It always leads to slavery. By what a man is overcome, by this he is enslaved. Fallacy number five that leads to immorality and destruction, nobody is getting hurt. Nobody's getting hurt. Some people say, well, no, I understand the Ten Commandments. I understand the commandment against murder and theft, but sexual immorality... That's a victimless crime. In fact, perhaps you read just a couple of weeks ago, the state of Colorado had had for 150 years a law in its book against adultery. They never prosecuted violations of the law, but it was on their books, a law against adultery. Most states had laws against adultery and other types of sexual immorality. But just recently, they removed that law from their books. And the reason is they said that's a victimless crime, adultery. Really? Now, there are a lot of victims when it comes to adultery. The victims include the innocent mate, the children. Perhaps the greatest victim of adultery is the adulterer himself. There's no such thing as victimless sin. Sin always destroys people around the sinner, but sin also destroys the sinner himself.